Hello. Um, oh, I'm in the study again. So I've got to be quiet, because otherwise I'll wake Winnie. Um, we just watched Flashpoint, the last episode of The Dark Invasion of Earth. I'll keep this short and snappy, because I want to go to bed, because I'm knackered. Um, and it was good. It picked up towards the end, um, and Terranation managed to give it the level of excitement that it required, and in fact, the only thing that really let it down was some just some shoddy um, production decisions. Um, the things like the Dalek clearly being able to see the Doctor hiding behind a door when the point was he was supposed to be hiding, just silly little things like that that got in the way of true enjoyment. Um, um, everything seemed to hang together quite nicely, and uh, it was it was. A fitting end. It's such a disappointment that uh, it sagged a bit in the middle of episodes, as six parts often do, because as soon as we got back to the final few scenes and we were back in London, you've got that frisson. Again, the frisson. Frisson? Frisson. Frisson. Again, that level of excitement, that um, that sense of familiarity. Um, uh, granted. So, by the by... Um, it was a strong addition. Um, I've not really mentioned Tyler and Jenny, who uh, were good supporting characters. I really liked Tyler, actually. I thought he was great. Um, David did the job, although his accent wandered. God knows where he was supposed to be from at the end of it. And I'd say, because of course, and I can say it out loud, this is Susan's last story. She ends up shacked up with David. I'd say that their romance was just about convincing enough. And to be perfectly frank... Um, compared to many companions' departures later in the series, it was a bona fide, you know, war and peace effort. Um, there was nothing back of a fag packet about it at all. So that was nice. Um, uh, Barbara's <laughs> elaborate bluff was interesting. Ian was, again, relegated. I do say relegated to action man status because you just don't feel that that's what is there, you know, it just kind of feels a bit stuck on. I think Doctor Who's soon going to realise that it doesn't really need that role, at least from a companion. Well, I'll say soon realise. It's going to take some time. Anyway, oh, and the other thing. For the first time, I was actually quite taken with the way the Daleks were filmed. There were some errors. There was one moment that the Daleks all circled around each other, constantly moving. Now, this wound Libby up. And I couldn't understand why, but it was nice to see them being that ballerina aspect that um, Terranation talks about a lot of the Bolshoi thing. Start of the show's heart, though. Um, absolutely on fire, brave, bold. The bits with Susan at the end, I reiterate, the heart was a fantastic actor, and I don't care. If anybody sees all this bumbling stuff, there's an element of heart in that, but ultimately, I think he's a fine actor who pitches his performance really, really well. So, um, Dalek Invasion of Earth, good overall. And although I'm glad to see the back of Susan, she had a fitting swan song. I thought she was good. So, farewell, Susan. Let's see who we get next. Bye bye. <laughs>